It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm about to try my first ever beer from Chile. This is Rothhammer Nazca IPA, sole crafted Chilean beer. It's 4.7% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle, silver bottle cap. I was in Alasiguanas. Now, I've never been to Alasiguanas before in Cardiff. My kids were. And my wife was like, we've been here a couple of times. Come on, it's time for you to come in and try it. And let's get the beer out into a glass. Ooh. Wow. So I'm quite lucky I have a sink. I always open my beers over a sink. I can't imagine them opening a beer like this in Las Iguanas restaurant, which is a... Quite a big restaurant chain. Uh, and the beer blowing up like that. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. I've stored it in a fridge. Um, wow. So I kept it kind of cool stored. Um, do you know, I'm going to slightly hazardly, hazardously say or hesitantly, I think. I'm gonna, it's going to be a little bit of a hesitant kind of sentence, this, but I've opened the beer over a sink. I always open my beer over a sink, so I can kind of very quickly get over the fact that we had a bit of an explosion as we opened the beer. But if you if you open your beer over over your kind of cream carpet or whatnot over there, you know, where you're sitting at your dining table, or it gets all over your sofa, it can be a little bit kind of annoying. So um, straight away, um, I'm I'm always positive when I review beer. I always go into a beer review with a positive mind. I went into this beer review with a really positive mind because I had such a good time in La Iguana's restaurant and the lady who served us in there said I asked her the question I said there, there's some beers here. I, I, I wasn't I had the one or two beers while I was in there um, but that were, they were draft poor they were they were draft beers keg beers and I said to the lady I said can I take some of these away and she said I gotta go and speak to my manager because we've never done this before um, normally people buy the beers and drink the beers in house and I, I didn't explain what I did. I didn't explain that I was kind of reviewing them on YouTube or anything like that. I just said, I want to take a few away. And she came back and she said, look, on this occasion, yeah, we're going to let you take some of these beers away. So bought the beers and I bought the beers because I had such a lovely experience in this restaurant. I had like a, a coconut curry that was like from South America somewhere. And it was completely out of this world. It was one of the best chicken coconut spicy curries I'd ever had in my life um we'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment but I, so I'm basically saying I've gone into this beer review in a very kind of positive spin because of my kids love it there my wife loves it there I picked some beers up from there the manager came over and said he really likes these kind of Chilean Rothhammer beers so it, it is a slight shame it is a slight shame that that we've had a little bit of an explosion we've probably lost a good couple of mouthfuls, maybe maybe about 30 millilitres of beer. It, it, it wasn't a great deal. It was just a bit of a nightmare pull then afterwards. So we got a three finger white head. It's a hazy looking amber IPA. There's sediment in the bottom of the glass. So it's it's obviously it's re-fermented. It's re-fermented in the in the bottle. So a little bit of that yeast was still alive. There's a little bit of sugar in there as well. And it was a little bit lively. But I can live with that. I can live with that. The, the look of the beers, I rock it back and forth. Carbonation rise up the side of the glass. It looks to be a kind of medium mouthfeel IPA. 4.7% ABV. Let's get the aroma. Ah, it's nice and hoppy. Spicy, hoppy, dry. Orange, tangerine, lemon aromas. 
Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. That is really lovely. Uh, my first Chilean craft beer. And oh my goodness me, this is really good. Really good example of an IPA. Um, I, I would say more a, a traditional type, if you think kind of old school stone brewing company, um, kind of Sierra Nevada type kind of styles of beer where they they got a lovely kind of grapefruit and tangerine and orange flavours coming through, but it's got a nice bitterness on the back end. It's a little bit of pepperiness in there, a little bit of spiciness. A grapefruit taste in there as well. It's really lovely. It's really lovely. I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite disappointed it opened the way it opened. Um, it, it's a really, really good beer. I don't know what's happened along the way. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Las Aguanas restaurant would have stored them in the fridge. In fact, they did because the beers came to me cold. I brought them straight home cold, put them in my fridge, kept them cold. I think it's just a case of just an unfortunate situation here where, let's not forget, it's still craft beer. This is still, I don't know the size of the brewery, I don't know too much about Roth Hammer, if I'm completely honest with you. It's the other side of the world to me. But generally, craft beer means there's kind of people kind of hand working in the brewery. It's not like there's a lot of automation. It's not, it's not like there's a lot of machinery in the brewery. And it's an automated process where they can kind of fine line it. When was the last time you've seen a Budweiser blow like that? Or a, a Carling or a Foster's or a Stella or a Heineken? They don't do it. They don't blow like that because... It's all automated, it's all kind of, they've got the money basically to, to put millions of pounds into making sure that your beer doesn't do that. And that's where being a craft beer reviewer and drinking craft beer, it's all part of the kind of love affair with craft beer in that sometimes these things happen. And it's about kind of trying to realise that the next beer you get from Rothhammer from Chile, probably won't do that. It's probably a very, a very small batch thing, or it might be something to do with an individual bottle. Perhaps I was just unlucky, but I can take that. I can take that on the chin. Because of the flavours of the beer, the flavours of the beer, it's a really nice IPA. It's got a really nice body for that 4.7% ABV. I like the kind of orange peel flavours coming through in here. It's like grapefruit flavours. Really good, really lovely. Really lovely. The print, the print is quite small here. Uh, Soul crafted Chilean beer. Uh, Nazca IPA is the personification of Chilean refreshment. It is inspired by its namesake, the Nazca tectonic plate, which creates the Andes mountain range that shapes our unique environment. Nazca has an enticing aroma of citrus and honey and a long hop finish. Um, it's not that I can't read, it's just the print on this. It's the smallest print I've ever seen on a beer label. Very, very small print. Um, so let me know about Rothhammer then. Let me know about their beers. Let me know about their brewery. Let me know about kind of what they're all about in the comments box below. If you, if you, of course, you know about the brewery and you're watching from Chile. But I'm going to rate it. It looks good. It smells good. It tastes really good. Uh, I am going to take a mark away because of the 
the opening, but I'm pretty sure you guys can understand that. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10, but I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.